Hi, my name is Glenn Beatty, U.S. Life Man. In this video, we will be discussing the game of Sherborn vs. Meat. Round 2 of the Tata Steel Tournament. Sherborn is a known tactician, always taking chances and producing some of the most brilliant games ever played. In this game, he enters into a variation in which he had played last year in the same tournament against the great Ivan Chuck. The game ended in a fighting draw. Smeeks played differently than Ivan Chuck. Was Sheroff up to the challenge? Let's see. The Roy Lopez. The Archangel variation. True to his style, Sheroff plays a super sharp variation. Black brings his dark square bishop to its most active square, c5, pressuring white's f2 square. The drawbacks of such aggressive action is black sniper will be attacked with temple. White will play c3, d4, gaining space and overtaking the center. Black is fine with this because white will have to defend the space he captured. White threatens to capture on b5 and if black captures back with a6 he will lose the crook therefore taking the crook off the a5 bishop to b7 is another variation defending the rook but it leaves f5 square weak therefore rook to b8 is the main move A takes B5. There is another variation in this position. White can also try A5 instead of capturing on B5. If Bishop takes A5, we follow with D5. And one of black pieces must come off the board. If knight takes a5, white has a crushing blow. Rook takes and, and the knight bangs on the e5, attacking f7 and c6. Devastating knight. Therefore, let's go to the main line. A4 takes B5. If B4, knight to C4, bishop to A4, black is under pressure. His knight on C6 hangs, and his E5 square is under attack. Let's go back. Therefore, Blacks elects the cast castle, which is the main line. Bishop to g4. If knight takes e4 instead of bishop to g4, the bishop slides on to d5, forking. If E takes D4. Now the E file is opened up for Black's use. Now the Bishop to D5 doesn't work because since the E file is open, Black can play Queen to E8 defending both pieces. White can try to continue attacking. 
with Queen the C2 forking, but Black produced the counter fork, Knight to B4. If Queen takes E4, Queen takes B5, and Black is fine in this position. Therefore, Bishop to G4, keeping the tension in the game, defending the E pawn and getting the rook into play. Bishop takes F3, forcing White to double his pawns. Because if he takes with his queen, he will lose his D4 pawn. So, trying to take advantage of White's weakened king side. A good move. If Black moves his knight on c6 to save his soul, White will just capture on d5. Having a strong center and a better game. Therefore, Serboff decides to sacrifice the knight. This position is just a mess. It's difficult to determine who is winning. Rook to a8 is a bad move. Black should have played f6, stopping the bishop from controlling the important e7 square. But in the game, he played rook to a8, knight to c6. Black is in trouble now, deep, deep trouble. Rook takes knight is forced if queen to c3, knight check, knight back to d5. nice for it. Therefore, Rook takes and Shervoff resigned at this point. The game is over. He is a Rook down. Let's see how Replica Aquarium continue this game for White and Black. Exchanging pieces, making the winning side easier. A nice move. Winning material. Sheroff played a very sharp game, but he failed to find the correct continuation when he really needed to. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Good chess. Cheers.